And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gluttony Scythria. That's right, it's going to be our first deck today. It's Meme Tier Monday. We got four Meme Tier donation decks to play today. Um, first two are going to be a, probably a little bit more competitive. Um, also, in, and uh, you know, this one should be pretty good because we do have Spectral Matron Scythria combo. So, you know, our deck's only going to be so meme with having that combo in there. But that's not going to be our only way to get Scythria in play. We're also going to be using another combo with Ledros. So Ledros, of course, is 9 mana, has Last Breath, it does some cool stuff. If we have a Ledros in play, we can use Gluttony, kill an ally with Last Breath to summon a follower from your deck that costs one more. Obviously, Scythria is going to cost one more. So we'll be uh, using Gluttony to get rid of Ledros to put Scythria in play. Another cool little combo we got. So besides that, you know, like we're just going to have just kind of some normal um, Shadow Isle stuff like Curse Keeper, Caretaker. Um, we'll have one Undying in here that Undying with Gluttony will be nice. They can get Grizzled Ranger and then even like another Gluttony. You can get rid of the Grizzled Ranger and go get a Swiftwing Lancer. Or you could get rid of Swiftwing Lancer and get a Genevieve if you want. That's that's probably not worth a Gluttony because Swiftwing Lancer is pretty good. Um, but yeah, then we'll have this interaction, you know, a bunch of removal, a bunch of uh, card advantage with Glimpse Beyond Stalking Shadows, finding our combo. And then late game, let's win some games with Scythria. So that's the plan. We're going to go play our five games over in normal with Gluttony Scythria. Yep, that's another option. Yeah, so you can Spectral Matron and put... With Spectral Matron, you can put Ledros into play. And and then, um, you know, you need, you need your three spell mana to go along with your eight. And then... You gluttony away the Ledros and put a, a real Scythria into play that's not. Um... I kind of want to just mulligan everything. How are, what are we keeping against Shen Fiora? Like, I guess we kind of needed. To, maybe we just need to keep this, this, this. Because okay, so against Shen Fiora, basically having a bunch of low cost units isn't really that great because the. Fiora just kills them and you lose the game. So we kind of need to like just combo kill them. And so like these, so like Gluttony, Spectral Matron is part of our combo kill. Um, Black Spear would be interaction for Fiora. I guess we're gonna play a Warden's Brain. Oh, so this this was a deck that was uh, created by Nasher. Nasher made this deck for us These and donated it here. Okay, so no Fiora is good, but I am scared of playing. I am kind of scared of playing the Undying um, because of Fiora. I don't know. That's that's tough. I am one with the land. <laughs> Pretty ugly looking hand. I'm really glad I didn't play the Undying. I'm never trying. Who goes there? Man, I just can't play anything. Man, Fiora is fun. Could Black Spear, but they definitely have a barrier, and Black Spear would just eat up the barrier, and then that would pump up these things. Man, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so I got nine cards. <laughs> you're just, you're just not allowed to play a normal game against Fiora.
I mean, how we how we win, I guess, is just making very large units of Spectral Matron Scythria. I guess that's how we could win. Not sure what to do here. I think I would like so I'd like to play a blade squire, right? Like I'd like to get another unit out before we go matron Scythria next round. But I also kinda wanna keep black spear like the three black spear mana up. I don't think Ruination is going to work against this deck. I mean, they'd I'd be surprised if they don't have Deny, right? Like, so I, I just don't think that Ruination's a, a good plan. Yeah, it's been a weird game. They have to have Nopify or Deny. Okay, they have Deny. I guess I probably should have the Curse Keeper challenge one of these things. I wasn't really focused on that. I guess Atrocity killing them probably would have made more sense. may have made more sense. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if there was anything, like, if they could have stopped Atrocity. I mean, Atrocity they could have stopped with, I don't know, could they have stopped with, like, single combat? No, I, no, I guess they couldn't really. All right, there we go, GG's. Yeah, see, that's why I didn't attack with the Curse Keeper. Keep that around. So we got the Deny out of their hand, and then Ruination. 
finish it up. You have to just play such a weird game against Fiora. Fiora's a weird card. Karma Ezreal? I haven't seen Karma Ezreal in a while. Alright, we got Spectral Matron back. Yeah, so we should be pretty good against slow decks. Um, you know, with like the powerful top end that we have with Matron, Cythria, Ledros. I'll be... Yeah. We'll be surprised if we lose a slow game. So it's probably going to be like an, maybe an Ezreal hand that does good against us. No one wants to block Warden Spray. Don't blink or you miss me. So that copy of the box was good against the fast Ezreal hand. We'll take Cythria. I will play my part. Yeah, box is real good. Yeah, we got Gem Drinker later on. It's gonna be a Cloud Drinker Horns of the Dragon combo deck, no champions. This deck also has no champions. over here. Dang, Avros and Sentry's good. It just doesn't, it doesn't really fit this round, though, playing Avros and Sentry. All right, so this Gluttony is going to get a Genevieve Elm Heart, which is, like, perfect for these saplings. <laughs> that worked out pretty well. I'd have to say. <laughs> yeah, but I thought that worked out pretty well, too. That's pretty sweet. That Gluttony turned that into Genevieve. GG's. Two and O. Oh. That was awesome. <clears throat> that worked out perfectly. <laughs> yeah, we're, I mean, we're perfect against, I hope we get to face Ezreal, <clears throat> Ezreal Karma more. But yeah, that was an awesome gluttony right there. All right, Vladimir Sejuani, a little bit of a tougher chest, tougher test. Um, I think we mulligan you. Okay, yeah, for your um, region rewards, question was what region should I level up first? Um, 
The correct answer is you shouldn't stay in one region when you're doing the region rewards. Because the, the more you level up a region, the more difficult it gets to go to the next level, right? It's It takes more XP to get from level um, 10 to level 11 than it does to get from level 2 to level 3. So therefore, um, to be able to maximize your rewards the earliest, the best thing is to do to do is to level up all of your regions together um, instead of just staying in one region and finishing out one region then going to the next. Uh, <clears throat> you'll get more rewards um, like that. So um, there are spots like where the region rewards um, Legacy. Man, that thing's a 5-4. Five, 5-4 four. Five, four with tough. Um, there are spots like where it's kind of good to change. And so I kind of recommend going like... Um, I think I just killed this thing. Over... Killing the 5 4, right? I think that makes sense, does it? Maybe we. No, maybe we just do that. Yeah, I could have done the scout attack first, then then if they blocked, then gluttonied. That's probably what I should have done. Seeing like maybe they would have even used a spell or something. That's what I should have done. Um, What am I trying to say? Okay, level 4, you get like the wow cards. You know, go there. Level 8's the champion capsule. Champions are the most valuable things in the game. So go get all your regions to level 8. Get them the champion capsule. And then go to the next champion capsule with each region and so on. So that's that's the best way to be doing it. We're definitely going to need to find Spectral Matron. We are not going to win this game by only having units. Scar Mother probably ends this game. We need to find, you know, we need to draw a Vengeance. We need to draw a Spectral Matron. Um, really one of those two cards. Okay, well, that's just game over. That's just actual game over. <laughs> that, that thing's going to attack from, from more than what I can deal with. Yeah, it was 19 at that point, but it's going to be even more after the Tarkaz attack. It's going to be 23 and last game. I needed you last game, Ruination. Okay, so I assume they're going to be a pretty aggressive deck, at least Darius. And so the box should be pretty decent against that. Huh. Phantom Prankster? Phantom Prankster is really scary. I will use this card. Just wanted to play. 
Phantom Prankster is really scary. Just going like stalking shadows would have been better that round than playing the undying. The undying's not really going to affect anything. Why am I not attacking with the undying? I don't. What am I doing? I mean, it's, again, not really going to affect anything, but I should still be attacking with it. <sighs> They'd just be at 18 right now instead of at 20. It's not going to really change the game, but still, no reason not to. That could be a good card. I'm glad we just saved the spell mana. Crystal Ranger just doesn't do anything at this point of the game. Very nice. Next round's going to be the crazy round. Challenge the 3 1 instead of the 5 3 to try to keep Silverwing. Yeah, might, might as well. Try to keep the Swiftling Lancer alive. Or oh, wait, am I going to need a dead? Oh, no, 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 because that's going to die. Yeah, yeah, so we're good. Gluttony away, Ledros. Okay, let's see. You can block there. You're going to die no matter who you block. So you just block there, there. No, no, there. no, 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 no. I guess block there. Alright, so we're down to ten. I guess maybe I should just be blocking the precious pet instead of this the Elise with the Cythria. Maybe the precious pet is scarier. We have so many Ledroses. Oh, 
I'll just play this Ledros they know about. I guess they know about the other one as well. Is our deck any good? I mean, it's all right. It's Where are you? You know, a little bit of a meme tier deck, maybe more so than like a super competitive deck. But it's it's going to win some games. Like you have Cythria, Spectral Matron, Ledros. These cards are so powerful that you're going to be winning some games. Oh wait, you can't challenge, can you? All right, so we got two fearsome cards that are lethal. And there we go, we are three and one with Gluttony Cythria. <laughs> Opponents do a meme here Monday as well with the Vile Maw. Poor Vile Maw. GG's. Um, there's probably been something. There's now the two mana three two elite for Swift Wing Lancer, the one that like when you challenge you get the barrier. Elise Maokai. They're a jagged Taskmaster deck. Taskmaster, yeah, that's that's what that's what kind of combines both these together, right? Like the Maokai makes the saplings, the Elise makes the spiders. Taskmaster's a great card. So we figured it out. They're a Taskmaster deck. Figured it out. Yeah, the saplings getting getting being three one challengers. Yeah, we've we've had some meme tier opponents today. <laughs> I think, you know, we we're all kind of waiting for the new patch. Uh, you know, that's going to be announced tomorrow and and uh, everything. And I think people are just kind of having some fun playing playing whatever in normal right now. So that's going to be a leveled up Elise. Let me change into something more comfortable. Not bad. Hmm. 
Not too bad. Real good against Grizzled Ranger. Ooh, Soul Shepherd. All right, so withdrawing. My plan was to play the Grizzled Ranger first, but with withdrawing the box, I'm going to you know hold the box up because maybe they play another Elise. Uh, that's possible. I don't like seeing that as much. Kind of wish I had the Swiftwing Lancer for that. I don't like seeing that too much. Let's go to pass. Stream Noodles! Half a year since I found the channel. My, my how we have grown. Thank you so much for keeping that support going with that resub. So kind. Thank you, Stream Noodles. That is our fourth sub of the day already. Another the box. No, I don't don't want to play Ranger. If I play Ranger, then I like I'd rather have like Lancer and the box here or Ruination, right? Like that kind of stuff. I'd rather just have the spell mana. Ranger just doesn't do anything. I'm kind of thinking they're going to be playing another Phantom Prankster right here. They just play the other Phantom Prankster. That's what I'm hoping. They play the other Phantom Prankster, then I Ruination. And that's why I didn't play Grizzled Ranger last round. Stream Noodle says this is one of the best channels to lurk on while working. Awesome. You can kind of tell I do that sometimes too. Uh, I miss I miss things. I'm like, it's like I'm doing the same thing. Uh, let's see. Let's go with this. What we got? All right. So there's Matron. Jenny is tempting, but we're gonna take we're just gonna take the Matron. I'm gonna pass. See what they got. Kind of some nothing. Oh, I don't need the box. Ooh, that one's good. All right, we're down to nine. But only two cards over there. Only two cards. So I guess we know that one's a spell. Take out the last Elise. Monkey business. Their Maokai's almost leveled up. That's something that's a little scary. Is it like they top tech a leveled up Maokai? That could be scary. Um, what do we want to do?
Matron of Matron, Matron of Grizzled Ranger, Matron of the Undying. All right, I was gonna Matron something. But. Opponent saw the writing on the wall and picked up their cards and went home. Matron the Lancer. That, yeah, maybe that would have been a good idea to do that. All right, but there we go. That was Gluttony Scythria. Very powerful deck, right? Definitely good for normals, right? Having uh, this kind of really powerful top end with Spectral Matron Scythria. Didn't play against the best of decks, but, you know, it's normal before the new patch. That's going to kind of be it. And, and it's meme tier day, so it's okay. We're just kind of, you know, chilling, having fun today. Um, but, yeah, super powerful top end. We did get to do the Ledros combo one time right like we had matron put in a copy of ledros and then gluttoning away that copy of ledros to put a real cythria in play that was pretty cool and then you know the next round just recast the ledros and take away half of their nexus health after that um swift wing lancer looked great for us though like this card really looked good um the last breath with it was key because uh, we were able to you know gluttony like they they, my opponents used like removal on the Swiftwing Lancer to try to kill it. We gluttoned it away, turned it into a Genevieve. Uh, that was pretty awesome, especially after a caretaker that round. So the gluttony had some good versatility in this. Uh, you know, like we gluttoned away a ranger for a Swiftwing Lancer. You know, we got some good versatility with the gluttony in these games. But uh, that's going to be it here for Gluttony Scythria. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, of course, hit that like button, leave those comments, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, like leave those yeah leave those comments let me know what you think of the deck anything like that any of the new cards um i just had the videos with the um, buffs and nerfs that i'd like to see with the new patch what do y'all want to see you know anything like that love uh hearing from y'all but that's gonna be it here for gluttony scythria so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video